Well, howdy, folks. It's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, making another video for you out of Boise, Idaho. And if you've been following along, uh, lately I've been changing the AC system on a 2009 Honda Accord, and we are up to the point now where all of the hard parts have been properly installed. The AC condenser is brand new. The AC compressor is brand new. Along with the condenser, it comes with a new filter dryer. So some AC systems have the filter dryer that comes with the condenser, others don't. Uh, some AC kits that you buy, even though the filter dryer comes with the condenser, uh, a filter dryer still comes with the kit as part of the kit, like in this case. So it's just, uh, you have no choice on it. It's, it. it's all grouped in with the kit, so. This is a new filter, yeah. Yeah, this is a new filter dryer, but on this one, you just toss it out when you receive the kit because the new condenser comes with a filter dryer. So make sure to make note of that. And once you've finished everything, you've got all the O-rings replaced, everything's reconnected. It's time to get out your gauges and pull a vacuum on the system. And what a vacuum does is it does a few different things, but pretty much to keep it simple is it cleans the whole system out, removes any impurities, ensures that there's no leaks. Uh, a vacuum also assists with the movement of Freon through the system. If you don't have a good vacuum pulled, you won't be able to charge it with Freon. Uh, when the vacuum is being pulled, it also pulls all of the oil and stuff through the system that you introduced into the AC compressor. So bottom line is, without a good vacuum pull, um, you, you won't get a good charge. You could also cause damage to the AC system. So pulling a vacuum is a must. You have to do it with gauges because that's the only way you're going to know if you're pulling an actual vacuum and holding a vacuum. So I went and I wanted to show you here, show everybody just in case you were wondering, that's for another job that I'm getting ready to do. Uh, I went ahead and you can go to O'Reilly's Auto Parts and you can rent, this one's kind of gross, you can rent a vacuum pump and you can rent the AC gauges. Now compared to my vacuum pump and AC gauges, I like the AC gauges. The vacuum pump, if you ask me, is kind of weak. So that's okay though, but I wanted to show you guys that are at home trying to do this yourself, trying to save a little bit of money. I wanted to show you guys that uh, you can go ahead and get this equipment yourself. So there you go. Now, once you have it, you're going to set it all up, as you can see here, you know, uh, plug it in, all that other good stuff. You're going to have your high line, and you can identify your red high line by noticing that the coupler and the fitting is larger than the coupler and fitting for your low line. So red is high, blue is low, right? And so then from there, you're going to put that on. Now, in order to open it, you turn it clockwise. So make sure that it is completely closed before you put it on. Make sure it is counterclockwise closed. Same with, not the same with the gauges, actually. The gauges are counterclockwise open. So make sure the gauges are fully closed. Make sure the fittings and connectors are fully closed. And you're going to take your yellow line and you're going to connect that to your vacuum pump. And then make sure your vacuum pump has proper oil in it, okay? So then from there, you're going to turn your vacuum pump on. You're going to open up your gauges by turning them counterclockwise. And you're going to watch your gauges are gonna go backwards, they're gonna go down, and that's what you want, especially on the blue gauge, okay? Let me see if I can. So there you go, you see that blue gauge? So that's, that's 
mercury, inches of mercury basically, okay? Just to keep it simple for you, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to keep it simple for you. That is what that stands for. That's atmospheric pressures. It gets complicated from there. Bottom line is you want that. And if I'm over here, it doesn't look like it is, but if I get you a straight shot, you want that at about the 28 to 29 inches of mercury. And you want it to stay at 28 to 29, preferably 29. And it may take a few minutes to get up to 29 inches of mercury, but once it gets to 29 inches of mercury, you want to pull that vacuum for at least four hours. And honestly, if you can do it over the course of a day and overnight, because you're doing this yourself, you're not in a commercial shop trying to make a bazillion dollars, trying to do as many as you can, if you understand what I'm saying, it is always better, the longer you can pull the vacuum, the better. So I believe that for this person, I don't think I'm gonna be able to keep this car over the weekend with it being Father's Day weekend. So pulling a vacuum for about four hours should do, but if you can pull a vacuum for a full day and then keep it overnight, that's always the best thing to do. So go ahead and pull a vacuum and then you're gonna wanna turn everything off. We're almost at 29 inches. Okay, so then you're gonna wanna turn everything off and you're gonna wanna shut some gauges and let it sit. Because if it doesn't continue to hold the vacuum after you've turned the vacuum pump off and you've sealed the system off, then you know you have a leak. And that's how you're going to know. Another way you know you have a leak in the system is if you're trying to pull a vacuum and your needle is closer to zero or it's in the middle. Okay, because if there's a leak, <coughs> and then, <coughs> excuse me, if there's a leak, then you won't be able to get 29 inches of mercury on the gauges. So that's another way you'll know if one of your fittings or connectors or O-rings is leaking or something's not right. Do this before you waste the money and put a bunch of Freon into it. So, so there you go, folks. That's how you uh, pull a vacuum on your AC system. Next, I'll show you how you can just simply recharge your own AC system as well. I'm going to go ahead and let this vacuum pull. It's about 8.30 in the morning, so I'm going to let this work until, oh shoot, probably lunchtime, and then see if I can't get this system recharged up and running and back on the road. So, all righty, everybody. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate everybody that does and everybody that supports me. If you have any questions about your own projects, shoot them to us in the comment section. Either myself or somebody else will get back to you. Once again, thanks for coming out and hanging out. This is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.